Hi, I'm Dennis DiCicco for Sky and Telescope Magazine here at the 2017 Northeast Astronomy Forum, NEAF. And I'm over with the folks with Mead right now. And Mead's always an exciting booth to be at. They bring lots of different telescopes, lots of things to look at, always draws a big crowd. And right now, I'm speaking with Scott Byram, Director of Sales, and he's going to tell me about some of the equipment that they have here. So you want to show me some of the things you have here this year? Yeah, one of the first things that we want to talk about this year, with being a big year for solar astronomy, is our Coronado telescopes. These are H-alpha telescopes that focus on that one frequency of light that's very strongly emitted by the sun. And these are all attuned to only pass that frequency of light. They're designed to give you either a 0.7 angstrom band pass or a half angstrom band pass. And these are equipped with a second etalon to give you a little better detail on the, sur the sun's surface as well as give you detail around sunspots and things like that. For viewers, just to reiterate, it's the H-alpha when people have seen these spectacular prominences erupting from the edge of the sun, it's in H-alpha light that they really can see these things. That's right. So that's what these scopes are designed to show you. Right. So. And they will, depending on whether you have a single stack or a double stack, give you different views. These single stack telescopes are really better suited for looking at prominences and flares along the limb of the sun, where the double stack with the narrower band pass is really good for looking at granulation in the surface of the sun as well as you know, filaments and things like that that you can't really see as well with the single stack. So you have several different versions. You've got, as I said, the single and the double stack, and then you've got larger ones as well? Right, with the, uh, the Coronado line, we, we start off with the venerable PST. This is our personal solar telescope. But we also have our Solar Max 2 design, which is, comes in a 60 millimeter and a 90 millimeter aperture. And with both of those, they can be single stack and they can also be double stack. I know these scopes are an incredible value for H-alpha, so what are the prices? Well, the PST starts at $699, and then for the double stack, it's $1199. The Solar Max 60 start at $1599, and there's a variety of different configurations depending upon which blocking filter you want to use, and then also with the double stack, so it can go up to about $2400. And then our Solar Max 90s, they start at $3500, and they kind of go up there a little bit from there depending on which blocking filter you want to use. All right. So, and I one thing to keep in mind is these will be great for looking during the eclipse, but they're perfect year-round. That's the one thing about solar astronomy is the sun's very dynamic and it changes every day. Yep. So you come out six hours later and it can be very different. Yep. So you can have astronomy in the daytime and astronomy at night. That's right. I know you have some more telescopes which are good for looking at the sun, the eclipse view line. Yes. Let's take a look. So Scott, this is your eclipse view line. Tell me a little bit about it. Now, our Eclipse View are designed for both daytime and nighttime observing. So they all come equipped with a white light solar filter that's actually removable. So even after the eclipse, you'll be able to remove the filter and use them as an astronomical telescope at night. Even after the eclipse, these will be good for you viewing the sun. You'll be able to see sunspots all year long. Yep. So tell me some of the stuff that comes in the package with the telescope. We've got the scope and the filter. That's right. And each telescope will also come with a sun finder as well as a red dot finder for nighttime observing. And the Eclipse View is actually being offered in four different models. We have two reflector models. These are mini Dobsonians. We have our 82 millimeter and a 114 millimeter. This is $79, 189. And then we also have a 60 millimeter refractor. This comes on a full-size tripod, and this is uh, $99. And then we have a 76 millimeter reflector, also on a full-size tripod, and that's $129. In addition to the telescopes, we also have a few other items for the, for the Eclipse. We have our Eclipse View 10 by 50 binoculars, and this comes with two removable filters. So you get a solar viewing binocular, but you also get a daytime or astronomy binocular. And additionally, we're just coming out with a new line of glass solar filters. We've got 10 different apertures covered here, and these will all be available very soon. Okay, and they have very nice secure locking so that they, once you're mounted to the telescope, they won't fall off. And Dennis, this is what we're offering for our white light solar astronomy this year. Right. And you have other things as well. Yeah, let me show you a few new telescopes. All right, let's take a look. So this is a new instrument since last year's show. Yeah, last year we introduced our ETX 80 and 90 observer. We, last holiday season, we introduced the ETX 125 observer. And it is actually the return of a legend in our product line. So give me an idea of what's part of the observer package. Well, the ETX observer is a, in this case, a 125, is a 1900 millimeter focal length Max Hutoff cast grain telescope. It is an F15 focal ratio. 
Uh, the nice features of the ETX is that they have an external DC jack so that you can power it not only from the batteries internally, but also with a 12 volt AC adapter. So it has internal batteries. It has internal batteries as well. The telescope comes with a full height tripod, and it also has a tilt plate that allows you to tilt the telescope up and put it in a polar mode. So you can use it as an equatorial or you as an altas mode? You can use an equatorial and altas mode. All right. Uh, these also still include our AudioStar computer controller, which has a 30,000 object database. So I don't want to stress the obvious, but this is a go-to telescope. That's right, Dennis. Once you do the two-star alignment using the AudioStar computer controller, then you'll be able to use the telescope to locate objects in a nice kind. It'll salute to, to those objects automatically. All right. And a feature of the AudioStar that makes this different? Well, it's got a 30,000 object database, but what's also great about it is it's got four hours of multimedia content that you will be able to hear through the speaker on the hand controller. So while you're looking at objects, some of the brighter, more exciting objects, you can listen to audio content giving you some information about the object you're seeing. And these are also very good for outreach because while the telescope's going to objects, people that are standing around waiting can listen to the content in the audio star. And now I'd like to show you something else that's new. These are all new this year. Yeah, new uh, this last holiday season is our Star Navigator NG series. And these are a single arm, go-to telescope that also uses our AutoStar computer controller. And they come in six different telescope sizes. We have two refractor models. We have a 90 millimeter and a 102 millimeter refractor. We also have two uh, Max Hutoff cast grain telescopes, and this is a 90, and we also have a 125. These are the same tubes as our ETX Observer series. We also have two reflector models, and that's a 114 millimeter Newtonian reflector and a 130 millimeter. So the price on these scopes? The Star Navigator NG started $349 and they go up to $499 for the 102 refractor and the 125 Mac. So this $699 price, that's a great price. That's not just a show price? No, that's our regular retail price. All right, what and about even beyond that, our Star Navigator NG series, they run from $349 to $499. Great. And this 102 refractor? Is also $499. Great scope. Speaking of refractors, I know you've got something at the show this year you're introducing which is really very exciting. That's right, Dennis. This year at Neef, we are introducing a new line of APO refractors. We have a 70 millimeter F5 astrograph. This is a four element pet spell design. We have an 80 millimeter F6 triplet. We also have a 115 millimeter triplet and a 130. Wow, so this is the one? This is the 130. This is the 130. So let's go back a little bit here. You said this is a, an F5 Petzval. That's right. And they have uh, FPL 53 glass. Oh, great. And the triplet as well? Yes, it does, yes. All right, that was an F6. That, that is an, an F6. Eight. And the 115 and the 130 are F7. F7s. So tell me some of the features of the refractors themselves. Well, beyond the fact that we've got these very nice telescopes, they also have dedicated field flatteners and focal reducers. So they're 0.8 focal reducers and uh, field flatters. So I notice these scopes seem to have all the nice features of a dual speed focuser, engraved draw tubes, and a rotating focuser so you can align your cameras and get things set up properly. That's right. Well, listen, I want to thank you very much for telling me everything about thank the you, products that you've got here. And if viewers want to learn more about anything they've seen, or if they want to find more about Mead products, they can go to the website mead.com. I'm Dennis DiCicco for Sky and Telescope Magazine here at the 2017 Northeast Astronomy Forum.